Hi guys, today we're going to be looking at start files. We're going to have a look at where to find Tune 1.5 for programming the ECU, where to get the data analysis software i2, and where to find the start files or base files themselves. So we're going to need to get that base file onto your laptop and then you're going to create your own version. You'll rename it and, and make it to suit your customer. That customer may have a higher engine speed limit that they want. If it's a multi-engine boat, you're going to need to set up the file for each engine. Each engine has a different ID. So for starboard, port, inner port, inner starboard, we're going, to, we're going to need to name all of those start files. And so we can load them into the ECUs, label them, and then fit them to the engines. Then connect, and away you go. All right, so let's take a look. On the website, we're going to go to Downloads, Category is Software and Latest Software. And if we scroll down here, we'll get to M1 Tune 1.5. Just click download and then go up to I2 standard, which is our data analysis software. Click download. The two executables will go into your downloads folder. Double click on them there and they will install into your hard drive. Now, while you're here, there's, a, there's actually two methods of finding the start file. While you're in the, on the website, you can search for it here, typing MCM112, and then you'll find the data sheet. So if we click on for the data sheet here, and then on the right-hand side, you can click here for the start file, and there's a link here to go to Motec Online. And once you're through on there, it'll take you straight to the page that has the uh, all the start files for the Mercury outboards. All right, and as time goes on, we'll keep updating and adding new start files for things like the V6, the naturally aspirated V8, 450, they'll all turn up here. All right, and if you want to find, if come directly to find that path, if we start another tab here, and so you come in under M1 firmware, packages, and then here we search Mercury, and here's the relevant start packages for all our Mercury products. All right, so click on for the outboard, MCM112, and here we're back at that same page. All right, so we've got the software. Now it's time to create the file. It's gonna be ID to each engine type. Gonna have a different engine speed limit potentially from what's in the start file. Let's take a look. All right, a very short rundown on Tune 1.5 and some of the key features and, and menu items. So on the left here, we have some icons that take you to major places that you're going to uh, set up and, and calibrate the ECU with. The normal screen to be in is adjust. And in this screen here is all our normal tables, parameters, channels, things like that, that we're going to see for normal tuning. If we're online, we would actually have this view here. So tables and setup stuff in the middle, dashboard down the bottom this stays here and then on the right hand side it all it's also pegged here is our scrolling data you'll see more when we go online later so here we're going to um, view our engine speed manifold pressure anything that's relevant to the task we're doing at the time here just on the left here is our menu all right it's it's broken into three areas favorites by pressing F5, we can get to these. So these are the main, the very, very common tables that you'd go to. Then our workspace. So these are the, again, common menu items that you'd use when calibrating a Mercury. If this isn't every parameter and uh, table that's in the software, but the ones we think you'll use most commonly. And then firmware. This is everything that's in the ECU. So every parameter, table, channel can be viewed here. I'd almost uh, suggest m almost never should you need to go there. So we'll just minimize that. Certainly not for an ordinary, um, for ordinary tuning of a standard engine. All right, so on the left here, uh, we've got our other icons. So this one here for logging. Here we, on the right hand side, this is everything that's logged at the moment into the hard drive of the ECU. On the left hand side is everything that's uh, not logged. All right, and to log, log things, we take from the left and drag them to the right. 
Now the, easy, the hard drive has a limit um, and we can see what that is. The more things you log, the, the shorter the time. And, but with level two logging that comes with the, the Mercury package, uh, you can log up to 200 channels at 200 hertz. And if we look to the right here, at the moment we're getting just under seven hours of logging with this particular log set. All right, so that's logging. Um, probably resources is the next most common place to be. So this is where you will do a lot of calibrations of sensors. So here we usually type uh, and search for something that we're gonna to wanna to calibrate. We can type here for drive trim and then here you'll see where that uh, sensor is wired. There's a little picture of the ECU here and the little orange dot shows you that where that uh, drive, drive trim sensor is wired into. These are the mercury uh, pins and connectors and this is the accessory connector. All right, and also on the screen there is the drive trim position setup. So your diagnostics, your translation table, and it automatically puts all the relevant information, voltage and drive trim position on the right hand side. So as we click each, each uh, sensor type here, the channels automatically update. So we could go to manifold pressure, and here's our manifold pressure sensor set up, the translation, the diagnostics, and again, the, uh, the scrolling data on the right hand side if you are live of the actual map sensor reading and its voltages. So everything you need here, uh, all in one spot to calibrate and look at the results. Good for diagnosing things. If you think you've got a problem, you can pop in here and have a look at the raw voltage. It's quite quick to find. All right, probably the next thing is um, notifications or, or alarms, anything like that, or statuses. They're all nothing going on at the moment, but if you keep an eye on the statuses, if there's any errors, they'll be red and there's information statuses that pop up that will go yellow. So if you click on here, it's all separated out into the various things, uh, groups, and that, that makes it easy. If there's a, uh, an error, one of these will go red. You can click over to here and it'll tell you what the error is. It'll have gone red. And here you can see a time graph of what's going on. You can see if it's intermittent um, and you can see information. Obviously nothing at the moment, just giving you a run through. All right, uh, from there, probably the next thing is our summary. So it's here that we'll do our setup for our different engines. So let's, let's say we've got a triple here. And so we've got three ECUs to set up. So the first thing to do is to name them all separately. So let's edit the description and we'll, we'll start with starboard. And so we're gonna call this starboard, get rid of any uh, old notes here and add anything applicable to the craft, but we'll start with starboard and maybe you might put the fuel, fuel quality at this point, 93 octane. All right. And also edit the vehicle ID as well. So we click here, it may be a 500R or 450, but also I like to see starboard, you know, what, which engine that is turn up in a couple of places if you're trying to tune multiple engines and you're scrolling through you know, different setups and different uh, versions of tune open, it's good to easily identify with your eyes which engine you're actually tuning. All right, so we now have it in the comment that it's starboard and in the vehicle ID that it's starboard. From here, uh, we're gonna go back to adjust. And before we probably proceed any further, I'll, I'll go through another couple of um, points to do with tune. So we have on the right hand side here where our scrolling data is, we also have a help tab. So on here there are some guides to help you with tuning. And this one here is in particular the one I want you to see, review. So for the start file and all the files on our website, there should be a review tab. And these, this list of parameters is something that we're saying you should look at these and uh, adjust them or at least check that they're right. Now some of these are before we get started and some of them are during that first dial-in or the first test drive. So I'll show you how it works. 
engine speed limit max. So let's click on that and that will take you, we'll just pin this back, sorry, pin that out there, and that will take you to the setup for your engine speed limit. All right, at the moment it's a little low at 5,500, so you should choose how, how many RPM you're going to want to run this out to. All right, if it's a 500, it's factory at 6,600. Um, a lot of people lift higher than that. We'll start with 6,800. All right, enter whatever number you want at that point. Once you've done that and you're happy that's right, you can click on the star here, and this star here will allow you to click on a setup item and flag it as a review item, but if it's already already flagged, then you can click on it to get rid of it. Then we come back over to review here and we can see that the engine speed limit is gone. Now the, another item is Mercury ID. All right, so this is taking us, if we look into our uh, workspace, it's taking us down to Mercury and engine setup. And here the engine ID, this is where you identify which engine this is on a multi-engine boat. If it's a single engine boat, then it's zero. The first engine, which is always starboard, is, is zero. Now, if you don't know what number to put in there, the universal uh, language for help, or the universal key for help is F1. Has been, has been with Motec since 37 years, F1 for help. All right, so here the help screen pops out and we can see if we have a single engine at zero. If this is the port engine, then it's one. If it's the middle engine on a triple, it's two. And so you just do your start files and allocate this number and that tells the ECU inside what, uh, what can uh, data to send out to tell the dash and the body control module for the Mercury what this can data stream is. And, and the same receiving back, the body control module sends all the information back for the individual engines and it needs to, uh, and each ECU needs to know which, which lot of data is for it. So it can control the start, the throttle, the trim, everything comes on the canvas. All right, so we're setting up for starboard, so we're selecting zero, and we're done now, and we can click that off. All right, next item here, come back over, it's in the help, we can click review. So gear idle, idle mass flow, and all the knock gains, we're going to do those once we get running, as well as the knock threshold. One more before we get started is the vehicle drive trim position up limit. Now all of the, the vehicle drive trim we'll uh, deal with once we're going, once, once we're online. But this one here is just to remind you to deal with that and to uh, work through that. So again, let's click that off. Now what this means is you can limit how high the motor goes. Um, so if there's a ski pole or a, or a rear part of the transom or something there that the motor's going to hit, we're, after we've done the calibration, we want to look at this up limit and make sure that the motor's not going to crash into something. Okay, so uh, look, we leave it with 100. We can have it even higher than 100, but there's the starting point. When we actually go to calibrate this, we go to resources and drive trim. So this is where we'll actually do the calibration. Now there's a separate video on this if you search for it and it tells you the procedure once we're online. And once we're done and that's all set up, you'll then, after the calibration's been done and the auto zeroing's been done, we want to come to this up limit, you know, trim that motor up as high as you want and then wherever that reads live, we're going to adjust this parameter maybe it's 60%, maybe it's 76, whatever it is, we'll adjust that. Once that's done, again, we click the, oh, we can't do it here, we're gonna to have to go back to adjust, and we click the review button to take that away. All right, so set each engine up uh, with its own ID, and no, no LTCs like our, our previous uh, plug-in kits, our previous uh, adapter kits, Lambda's on board here, so we just need to set up each engine ECU to suit the engine location. The RPM limit across all of them. So I'll give you one more example. We're going to go, we're locked in there now. We're going to save that as starboard. And so that's now saved. 
And so if we were going to now set up the port engine, we would go to Mercury engine setup, and now we can change that to one and file save as port. Okay, and also we want to go into our summary and edit our vehicle ID here and make this one port as well. All right, so that's it. We're all organized. We've got our start files created. They're all ID to the engines. Engine speed limits are, are set and we're ready to load them to the ECUs. We've got a video covering that. Check it out online. We'll see you next time.